Good morning. We're here at uh, Tri-City Nursery in Kaysville, Utah. Uh, we're loading uh, pallets of Belgard Old Castle product, Belgard. Uh, this is the workhorse uh, model of the trailer. He sets it down, and I'm going to take it and pull it on the trailer. Okay, go give me another one. I'm gonna run around on the other side uh, while he's getting that, and I wanna get up here where we uh, bring the pallet on once he puts it on. Then I wanna be here where you can listen to the sound of the motor uh, that drives this whole thing. It's an electric drive uh, motor. It's rated at uh, 12,000 pounds, but the, this particular trailer is uh, hooked to a F-250 power stroke uh, truck. We have people that are using the trailers with half tons, but we firmly recommend that you use a three-quarter ton pickup. You'll notice uh, the tilt on the trailer, that it tilts slightly towards the truck so as the weight transfers from the trailer to the truck that then you remain level and the main thing is to make sure that the weight that you're putting on the trailer um, that your weight is in front of the center of gravity we have a sticker on the trailer that tells you the balance point of where you should put your pallets and then, uh, uh, so you want to make sure your weight stays ahead of that. So we're going to put the second pallet on now. These are weighing, uh, as the sticker shows, uh, they're weighing, uh, let's see, 3,149 pounds. Okay, you can go ahead and back out now. So here we are with uh, two 3,200-pound Belgard pallets. We're going to rotate it forward. I'm bringing it forward so that we can hear the winch motor as it pulls it on. So there's two pallets, and uh, now we're going to set another one on. Questions come up about the durability of the belt. Uh, this belt is being used in the ag industry, um, as well as in the raw gravel industry. And very durable. We've had one operating now for three years in a haulet trailer. This is cross thatched with nylon in several directions, so that you have very little problem. But none. We've no, no, none where we've had to replace belts. When we get this last pallet on, We'll have uh, 9,600 pounds of weight on the trailer. So now we'll go ahead and load this third pallet up a little. There you go. We're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to put it up tight. Uh, that looks about like it's uh, got your load toward the front. Um, we're not quite, maybe a little far, farther forward. The beauty of the haulet is you can adjust your load wherever you want it to go. So you go back to there. Uh, now we're going to unload this load. And uh, the thing to do with this is to run it uh, up in the air. You notice your ram system. You take your uh, ram in the air. Notice underneath the trailer are the caster wheels. We're going to bring the load now back. And... Uh, as it brings the load back, you'll notice that the Belgard pallet, these boards are crossed. They hit the skid plate, then they're going to hit the, 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 the ground. And once it hits the ground, then you go ahead and pull out. So that's your first pallet.
Here's your second pallet. Once you get to where you're operating this from time to time, uh, you'll get to know when to pull forward. And here's your third pallet. Touch the ground and you pull out. Uh, we've had this drive motor now in operation for nine years. Um, they're very dependable. Notice that uh, this trailer has a gap in it for servicing. If you get debris in that building up under the belt, then you can go ahead and wash it off. So Randy Moore with Hollett, uh, again here at Tri-City Nursery and unloading uh, 3,200 pound pallets of Belgar.